at a college And what a great afternoon it is. It really it is. It really is, time. man. Woohoo! It is. We got one. All right. We haven't beaten a ranked team at home since 2008. 63-20 to, to the scoreboard. 650 yards of offense. Bruce, what turned you on about today? Just how well prepared the team was. The team came out on all cylinders. And before you could blink, the game was really over. It was a matter of just holding on and not making mistakes. And uh, you know, Josh Jackson was unbelievable. The running game was off the charts. Tyler Mabry, your guy, he's, he's, he's going to be playing on Sunday. Yeah. Let me tell you that much. I, we survived a scare on Antoine Brooks, which was great. And Jalen Duncan, the left tackle, also got dinged up, but he stayed in. This was a number 21 in the nation. 21, supposed to be the 15th ranked defense. And the Maryland defense shut them down. No shots come to that at all. Bryce Brand gets to start at Russia. Keandre Jones on the other side. Keandre Jones strips the quarterback, gets the sack, makes the plays. Keandre Jones looks like a five-star Russian linebacker. Here's my question to you. On the show today, I predicted we eke out a victory, and you said it's not going to be close. 37-14 or something? Yeah, that's what I said. Why? Why did you know that coming in? Because I saw Syracuse and the fact that their offense at the moment not so hot. I talked to some Syracuse fans who paid with expensive seats on the club level, said, are you surprised? First of all, they said yes, and second of all, they said the quarterback stinks. Which is malarkey. It takes some time. time. When he had time, when his feet were clean, he threw the ball coming this way several times, got a few touchdowns. When Maryland sped him up, he was god off. And you know what else? When, uh, toward the end of the game, when Maryland was just playing contained, he'd be out there for seven, eight seconds. He could not find this open receiver. Well, no, he couldn't. And instead of trying to make a play, and here's the sticks part, he just throws the ball away in fourth down. Who does that? I don't know. Last we'll person we come back. This is Wayne Byer. That's Bruce Bosner. This is the Big Dog Post Game Show. Bruce Barkley. Yes. Yes. We'll be back in a moment. At the Jack Lish Law Group, uh, not only will you feel like a member of their family, uh, you'll also receive uh, unprecedented customer service. We love our clients, and you'll see that if you trust us at the Jack Lish Law Group, the big dogs from the small firm, and we'll reward your trust. Call the big dogs today. Don't wait. Find us online at bigdogsmallfirm.com. Terp Talk is brought to you by Viner Four Gates Consulting. Call Viner Four Gates for all of your IT needs. In the D.C. Baltimore area, you could reach us at 301 251 2900 or on the web at www.vinerforgates.com. Back here on the Big Dog Post Game Show, last week 79 points. Points. First, I, I can't believe it. We head off the Temple 2 0. You know, maybe last week's game was a little bit more significant than we thought it was. Because we went through it. Which defense? You told me the defense was good. How was Syracuse? Syracuse must have a good defense. Not today. Well, they couldn't stop the run. I'll tell you the difference. And I'm referencing the scoreboard you probably can't see up to my left. It says 354 rushing yards. Last year, we got the 354. We lost the game. The difference this year. 296 passing yards. No, we didn't get to 300. He came close. Those 296 passing yards, especially the first few drives, monumental. Maryland rolls into the end zone. Two minutes to go in the first half. 35 to 13, right? And you're saying, and I'm saying shut it hold down. the ball, run the clock out, right. not Loxley. And I'm saying, go for it. One more time. Give me one more. They and got they the do. one more. They got the one more. Anthony McFarlane, three touchdowns? No, I'm going to have to check. Yeah. I know Jack brought the scores down. And I want to thank Jack Rothenberg for uh, taking the video today. We also want to thank Meyer Consulting Engineer. Of course, our hometown IT team, Viner Four Gates, popping the logo on the shirt here. Um, 
So here's, I was talking with Damon after the game. I talked with everybody from the Big Ten. And like Damon agreed with me. Next Saturday, they can't walk ahead. You know what I mean? To Penn State. They got to take care of business. Michigan was in trouble with me. I don't know what the score is now. It's still tied. It's still tied at 14. Yes. And Army threw up on the end zone for a pick. So Army should be hit. You can't look ahead. You have to play the game that you're playing. And maybe Syracuse was thinking about Trevor Lawrence. Now I guarantee you Trevor ain't put up 63. I don't think so. Well, uh, I think so. Uh, the guys watching. Uh, the Syracuse coaches with the word on the shorts they couldn't figure out what hit them. The fans playing behind us. We got to head off to the first game press conference. Final words, you got in the nest tomorrow. In the nest tomorrow, 9 o'clock, if Wayne gets us up early enough. Man, oh man, good things are happening here in College Park. 63 to 20, the Terps vanquish the Orange. Thank you.